COP21 is the 21st annual United Nations Summit on Climate Change, where countries from all over the world have been meeting every year in a different city, every year, uh, to discuss how collectively we're going to tackle climate change. In the 21 years that this summit has been discussed, global emissions have increased by 63%. The aim this year is to have a universal um, agreement that all nations of the world will sign up to and it will be the agreement that is supposed to keep us below two degrees which was what they agreed in Copenhagen was uh, what we need to stay below if we want to avoid catastrophic climate change. Currently even the pledges don't add up to two degrees they add up to something like 2.7 degrees and if you look at the policies that they have in place we look, we're actually on track for something like four degrees. So this year uh, the summit is in an airport. It's in a private airport, which is 15 kilometers kind of northeast of Paris. So the question is, why go to Paris? This is one of the reasons to go. These are some of the sponsors, just some of the sponsors of this year's Climate Change Summit. BNB Paribas is a bank. We've got EDF, we're an energy company, Renault, Nissan, GDF Suez, which is now called NG, um, and then the Suez Environment. These organisations, these corporations, are able to buy their way into the summit. They can buy a space for like $1,500, $2,000. They can hold side events, they'll be holding press conferences, they'll be talking about all these false solutions or solutions to climate change that they will be lobbying hard at, their government, at the governments. Aside from the corporations who are inside the summit, there are actually alternative summits which are happening alongside this, uh, which are industry-led solution summits. And there will be some genuine solutions in that alternative summit, but largely these corporations are hiding behind the front of those. So basically, these corporations and all of our governments want this agreement to allow business to continue as usual. We want to go to Paris to, to make connections with um, organisations, with networks, with struggles from all over the world, not just from the global north, but from the global south. Affected communities will be bringing their struggles. Some of them won't be even be like traditional climate struggles. It's about joining the dots, making the connections and showing that all of these issues and struggles are part of the systemic problems that lie at the root cause of climate change. And it's about talking about the solutions, using this platform to talk about and promote um, the solutions that as communities and within the movement we already have and we already know are working. We can walk away from Paris as a bigger, stronger, more connected global movement that can march forward and rise up through 2016 and beyond.